to know us. Uh huh. Oh, what fun! Well, it is very. Uh, between the two of us, he's going to have quite a time. The two of us? Uh, me and my book. I'm going to need your help, though. You know, I've never kept up with all the manifestos. Oh, and there's anything you like? What's it matter? Oh, I couldn't do that. Sid's a stickler for accuracy. You're not giving him the truth, are you? Uh, sure I am. But this whole book thing is a joke. You don't mean he knows about you. <laughs> of course. Oh, you won't believe the things I've showed him and told him. He doesn't know about me, does he? Uh, no, darling. I said it was I who summoned him. But if you want to take credit... I do not want to take credit. Nikki, why? Why did you do this? You know it never pays to tell outsiders. Uh, it's going to pay plenty. I gather Chef is going to make Sid a very generous offer. You mean that that's what Chef is reading upstairs right now? Uh-huh. You can't publish that book. I won't let you. What harm can it do to you? There are no names in it. Yes, but your name is going to be on it, and that's just too close to home to be safe. Nikki, Chef doesn't know about me, and, well, he's not going to. Oh, next thing I guess you'll tell me you're going to renounce, too. As a matter of fact, I have renounced. Since when? Since as of about half an hour ago. You don't mean this marriage is on the level, do you? Uh-huh. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. You can't be in love with him, so what are you marrying him for anyway? Because I want to. That's why you've got to stop this book. No, darling, I'm sorry, but it's too important to me. Well, it's even more important to me. No, dear, I'm sorry, but quite firmly, no! <laughs> All right, then. I guess I'll just have to do something about it. Oh, you mean all one? I thought you'd retired. Yes, I have. I'll have to make a farewell appearance to stop this. Don't forget, we have people on our side, too. This is to pass. I'm a lot better than that old battle axe. Yes, but she can take it up higher. To the big boys, she'll get the whole organization back in it. <laughs> That old bunch of buddy duddies. There isn't one of them that won't give someone a flat tire without having to go to bed for a week. Now, will you bring me every copy in existence? Or am I going to have to go to work? You know I can do it. Think it over, Nikki, while I take these out. Wait a minute. Acritus. Actita. I would do that if I were you. Well, what's it going to be? Yes or no? Not on your life. Very well then. Pie, 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 whack it. Eloise. Beige root. Baby goose. I don't want that book to be published. Not by anyone. No. Kill, watch out. And that will teach you to threaten me with the organization. Okay, my girl, you asked for it. I'm going to see that your little romance hits the rocks. Chef is going to know all about you and before the day is out, too. Oh, Nikki, you're still here. Good. Hello, there's Pie Wacky. I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, say, what are you going to do with Pie now, anyway? I'm going to put him out. I mean, once the two of you are married. 
I just tell you that he doesn't like me. He can't bear me. He can't bear for me to touch him for some reason. Uh, did you look the book over? Uh, what did you think? You want me to talk in front of Gil? Yeah, sure, why not? Gilly, I'm afraid Nikki here has been a bad boy. Seems that Aunt Queenie's not the only one in the family who goes in for practical jokes. You think this book is a joke? It's crazy. It should be called Whatever Young Witch Ought to Know. How do you ever imagine I'd fall for it? I can't think. Well, I just got off the phone with Redfish. He says that Nikki convinced him that he was one of them. I think I was going up a little bit far. Uh, did he mention how he got here in the first place? Yes, I got all that. It's a, a luminous page or something. He had all your references, including a Mrs. DePaz, who sounds like some sort of head witch or something. But the joke's over now, so you better tell Redwoods that the whole thing was a gag, or else the book will have to find another publisher. No. I don't suppose another publisher would be any good. Now. Do you, Gil? Nikki, what are you up to? Nothing, darling. Oh, uh, look, Chef, it was really silly of me to think you'd fall for it like that, so... No hard feelings? Your ass, Nikki. So long, Gil. You'll be hearing from me later in the day. Is anything the matter? No. Well, you look peculiar. Nothing wrong between you and uh, Nikki? No. Really, the young scamp? I don't think he's going to have an easy time with Rebels. trying to make me. No matter who told you. No matter who told me. I wish I could trust that. Well, what's the matter? Nobody's threatening you, are they? Nikki isn't. I guess in a way he is. Well, he can go to hell. What is it, for you to tell me something about him? Yes. Well, that's easily dealt with. How? Tell me yourself. That's what I'm trying to do. Well, what is it then? Something about your past that you didn't want questions asked about? Yes. Well, tell me, what have you been up to? Have you been engaging in un-American activities? No. Very American. Early American, in fact. <laughs> Chef, you say you don't believe in anything supernatural, but what about superstitions? Picking up pins? There's nothing in that, it's just habit. Yes, but what's the habit based on? Isn't it just in case there was something dominant in those things? No, not at all. Shit, there is. There are laws of gravity. Well, so I've always heard. I, I don't mean you can set those things aside exactly. Well, that's a relief. But there are ways of altering things. Are there? Manipulating things for yourself. How interesting. Shortcuts to getting your own way. And just what are those? Shepard, the people that live by those shortcuts, that, I have to say that they use magic. Magic? Magic does exist. I, I know because I 
I can do it. You can? Yes. Well, do it then. Show me some. No, I, I can't. It would go on and on. I've already broken down the lines this afternoon. What, what happened? What did you do? I stopped that book from being published. Oh, no, you didn't. That's my promise. Sorry to spoil your story, but I decided I wasn't going to publish it after I'd read two pages. I didn't say I stopped you from publishing it. I said I stopped anyone from publishing it. Oh, you can do that? Yes. How useful. What did you do? Look, I can't tell you. It sounds too silly. No, no, come on, tell me. I put on a spell. And how does one put on a spell? He was pie racket. Oh, you talked to him about it. And what did he do? Call on all the publishers and talk them out of it? Is pie racket a witch too? He's a familiar. Ah, yes. Pets that can carry on their master's bidding, if I remember correctly. Gil, what in the hell are you getting at? And I'll tell you other things too. The luminous paint? That's true. Only it wasn't Nikki, it was I. You saw me do it even. You thought it was indoor fireworks. And you're coming here? You remember how that happened? Your, your telephone was out of order. That was Providence. No, that was Nicky. He put it that way. I've heard of a repairman, but why would Nicky do that? As a prank? That's what he uses it all for, mainly. Playing tricks? Turning all the lights on 57th Street green at the same moment? Well, that before a sex life. Look, Gil, you've gone crazy. Now, I don't know that Nicky's sex life, but my telephone going out of order. Redledge, come in here. All the lights going out on 57th Street. Damn it, those things are coincidences. They look like coincidences. They have to. You can't do it any other way. Look, I, I can't bring Niagara Falls to Grand Central Station or turn the house into Taj Mahal. It doesn't work like that. But there are always rational explanations if you want them. Well, then I'll take the rational explanation. Just as you took the rational explanation of us. What was that? There, I've said it. You mean that was... Yes, that was. Now, wait a minute. Why? You thought it strange enough yourself when it happened. You called it magic earlier this afternoon. I didn't mean that literally. Was it rational what happened to you here on Christmas Eve? It happened. Think back. What did happen? You came in here to use the telephone. It was busy. Then you got the number. Do you remember what happened next? I can remember everything. I made my call, you went out to the kitchen, and you came back with the cat. Go on. Well, I went to the door to leave, and turned around, and I, I seemed to see you for the first time. And you were in my arms. I left something out. What did I do before that? You didn't do anything. You sat down, you started talking to the cat, and, well, yeah. No, damn it, no, I refuse to believe it. Chef, what suddenly made you take me in your arms? Because I wanted to, more than anything I've ever wanted to do in my whole life. And now you're saying that you made me do that? Why, what for? Because I wanted you, so I did that. You mean I had nothing to do with it at all? Chef, I'm sorry. There are such powers, all kinds. They do exist. All all you have to do is use them. So everyone's got them? You mean I can do things? I guess so, if someone showed you how, but you don't ever let them. Don't worry about that. It's just bad. The whole thing is bad. Well, why is it bad? Because it's habit for me. You don't know. I do. I've lived among it. You don't know what it can do to you. It's like pulling rank or abusing influence. It can destroy you as a person. But I told you, I don't have to worry about anyone else telling you now. You don't have to worry about anything anymore. And again, I've never felt about anyone as I do you.